Let's continue by adding the dorsal fin to our shark. Go back to poly mode, and let's go to our front view, the side of the shark, and look at what we have. Here is the dorsal fin, and these are the faces that we're going to need to extrude in order to extrude the dorsal fin into position. I will go into vertex mode and just select the vertices around the dorsal fin. When I look in perspective view, I can see these are the faces that I'm going to need to extrude in order to extrude the dorsal fin. Let's go to faces. And we have our faces selected. Now, if I just extrude these faces up, this dorsal fin will be way too big. So what we need to do is to isolate an area about this size that we will extrude from and not this entire area. So we can do an extrude with these faces, but instead of moving them, we can just scale that extrude to this shape of what the dorsal fin might be. So let's go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and I can use this offset and just offset it a little bit. I'm really looking at how much area I have right here. And I like this amount of space right now. And I can hit Q to get out of the Extrude tool. Circle around, and with my scale, I will scale these faces in to be about the thickness of what I want the dorsal fin to be at the bottom. So now we look at this. This would be rather difficult to extrude from. We would not be extruding straight up like we did with the tail, it'll extrude out this way. I'll just do an extrusion to show you what it'll look like if we try to extrude from this position. And that's not what we're looking to achieve. So I'm going to backtrack. What we need to do is to flatten out this area like we did with the tail. With a flat area, we'll be able to extrude straight up. Hit Q to get out of the extrude tool. Let's go to our front view. With the faces still selected, I'm going to just go to the move tool and I'm going to move these up a bit just to get them out of the way so I can isolate this area. Going back into vertex mode, we can do what we did before about flattening out vertex where we were able to select them and use the scale tool in the y direction to flatten out this entire area. Now if we look in the perspective view you can see that these are the faces we want to extrude from and we have this V shape here. So we need to take these rows of vertices and this row of vertices and compress them to be flat. So let's go ahead and do it this way by constraining in the y direction, bring it up to the middle, and it flattens everything out. Now if we look in our perspective view, you can see we have a nice flat area in which to extrude from. This will give us good predictable results. The problem is, is now because we had raised this up, we need to bring this back down to be in line with the contour of the shark. So now we have a flat area that we can extrude from. So let's select these faces. And in the front view, let's go to our extrude tool. And extrude all the way up to the top. Go into vertex mode and move into place. I'm going to add a few edge loops. So we'll go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, and add a few edge loops here. 
for our text mode and move into place. May actually move these down a little bit and select all of these. Move them down a little. And I'm going to add another edge loop right here. So I'll go to my recent commands. Vertex mode and move into place. Now remember, whenever you're using that insert edge loop tool, always hit the Q key to get out. Otherwise, you'll be adding lots and lots of edge loops all over the place that you don't need. We have this little area right here also um, that we can do another extrusion to try to add a little more definition over here. First, let's go to the perspective view and see what our dorsal fin is looking like. Smooth it, and it's starting to look pretty good. But again, we have the same thickness problem. So let's actually go into this view right here, back into poly mode, and let's select the vertices we want to adjust and start scaling them in in this Z direction. And you could just check to see how it looks. I could probably bring these in a little more. And really, it's just you're kind of going through and getting a sense of how the whole thing's working. If there's any problems, just go in and adjust those vertices. That's looking much better. So let's go in here. And let's extrude this area out over here to add a little more information for this dorsal fin. Come in and grab the faces we need to extrude. Recent commands, poly extrude. And let's pull this out. Go to the move tool. And we'll just move this into position. You can go to vertex mode, grab the vertices we need to move, and move them into position. Now let's smooth this out. Go to object mode, and we can see how it looks. If you don't like the thickness of this, it's fine. I can go in here and modify that by grabbing those vertices. And with the scale tool, just bring these in until you're happy with the result. Just make sure when you select vertices, you don't mistakenly select an extraneous one that you aren't intending to. So rotating around is always a good idea. Or make sure you get into a view where you won't be selecting anything that you don't want to select. So it's looking pretty good. And let's end this video here. And we'll pick up the next one, adding the side fins.